moving on to the offseason, um, as far as what Brett, Brett Veach said in his press conference last week. Um, so we kind of talked about what's ahead um, for the Chiefs and what his priorities are. So I'm going to ask you guys what what your priorities are. Uh, but he mentioned that the priority for the Chiefs this offseason was uh, uh, re-upping uh, Orlando Brown, who's going to be a free agent. Um, and defensive line is going to be a priority for him. And he also mentioned that cornerback could be something that they look at early on in the draft, um, in this upcoming draft. What do you guys think should be our uh, upcoming uh, priorities for this offseason? Uh, I, I definitely think it's defensive line. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't say pretty sure. I don't, I don't think we bring back Frank. Um, I don't think. I don't know what we signed Ingram to, but I'm hoping we bring him back. Um, he and Chris Jones did well together, but it also sparked a, a new a new Kansas City career for Frank Clark. You know, Frank tended to, he seemed to turn things around. Um, I don't mind it. I like it. I like the sound of a new cornerback. You know, something that's stellar on the other side of Ward. I'm a fan of Ward. I think he played excellent. You know, he's had some games that you know weren't all that great, but hell, your cornerback, you're not going to have great games every game. But we were able to match him up on a lot of the top receivers, and he did well um, when he when his, when his number was called. Uh, I I think, again, I keep saying a solid receiver outside of uh, Tariq and, and Kelsey. Um, to me, as I, I, I think I there was some controversy between Twitter on – uh, with some of the guys, and I, I stay away from all that. So to me, the thing that makes Kelsey and Tariq Hill uh, stand out above everybody else, they're big-time playmakers. When you get the ball to them, plays are made. Yeah, you're going to have a drop or two. Other than that, but you know big-time time plays going to be made. We can throw the ball to a wide-open Hardman, Robinson, um, Pringle. And you don't get much after after that catch. Um, we can't just throw a fade route. We can't just throw a slant route. We catch them mostly on some of the gimmicky stuff that, that's thrown together with our offense. Um, but you can throw the ball to Kelsey on a 10-yard curl, and he can make a guy miss with his size and get you extra 15, 20 yards or a bigger play for a touchdown. You can give Tariq the ball at any moment on the field, and you never know what the heck's going to happen. And to me, um, you know, I know the argument was about a lot of guys talking about bringing Sammy back. You know, I don't know what Sammy has left in the tank. Uh, and Sammy was much of a possession guy for us. Yeah, he made some big plays, but um, was he the playmaker for our, our offense? No. Uh, I like the guys that you could throw the ball to and all of a sudden you get a 20-yard catch turns into a 70-yard run like what Jamar Chase does. Or even like the young guys at Denver or some of these other young playmakers. So to me, the guys outside of Kelsey and, and Tyreek Hill, they're not those type of playmakers. They can catch the ball. They can run the routes, but they're not that playmaker. Uh, so to go and get another young guy um, to be that playmaker, I, love, I would love to have that. And then just to, like I said, tidy up that defensive line. I don't. I think we can tag Brown, right? Yep. So uh, tag him, renegotiate a couple of the guys that have a really good contract. Well, we have money. Shit, probably get somebody big on the free agency market. Yeah, I, th I think you're right there. I'm, I'm right there with you. Uh, priority definitely got to be uh, defense, fan pass rush, uh, D line. Um, I'd even look for probably a, another linebacker. Uh, that defense, you got to do something with that defense. You get a corner. Uh, I, I think you could get a corner probably late in the draft, maybe get a guy maybe from a different team. Uh, maybe cost wouldn't cost you a whole lot to get him, but somebody who's come wants to come in hungry and compete. Um, like and, and I like that whole tagging uh, Orlando Brown Jr. I, I do tagging him uh, offensively. Shoot, you only you need a number two. You, you need a guy. I think you go free agency. I don't think you draft a guy. I think you go free agency. Go get him. That's a, that's what you have to do. A solid guy that you know is going to go get some catches, going to get some yards. Uh, it's going to Dog, you. I'm, I'm, I'll cut you off here. I'm not, not just cut you off, cut you off. Do you think Juju is the guy we can bring in? Because Juju isn't even that that big of a playmaker in Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Juju, he, he'll, he, he'll bring something to offense, but 
he, I need somebody a little bit more explosive. They need somebody, uh-huh. I think, Juju. And it's, yeah, I, I, I think Juju, he'll come in. He'll be a guy. I, I think he'll disappear, to be honest with you. I don't think he'll be – he will he won't fulfill that that role like you want him to, right? And then the thing is, because when, you know, A.B. left, you know, he was supposed to be the guy, and all of a sudden that just – I mean, that fell apart. You know, him you, – look, you can pretend to try to be something that you're not, right? And then all of a sudden, they, hey, look, man, <laughs> it just didn't work. So those young guys came in and they 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 showed him what was up. So Juju, I think, is just a guy, but you got to go get a real a real dude that I think is going to be like a barn burner uh, that's going to threaten defenses. Like you saying, like, look, we got to make sure we double this guy on some of these things too, right? I mean, he's he's got to be a, a real threat um, as far as offensively. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I think that's your main your main uh, action is going to be on defense. It definitely defensive end, defensive lineman. I see some defensive linemen man, from the uh, from the senior bowl that might be able to, you know, they look good. I think you could draft a guy that's hungry. Uh, I think there is a, is a kid, man, from Houston. I seen him, man. He, he's he's a little light. He kind of reminds me of Chris. You know, he's about 275, 280. He can, he can play a three technique, you know, lightning fast, got good hands. Uh, I can't think of his name right now, but I, I looked at him and said, man, he, he'd be good here with the Chiefs. So, I think it's your concern, man. Yeah, defensive end, D-line. Linebacker, you got to get somebody, man. You have to. Uh, kind of move that way. And, we, and they should be better with cap space than everybody says we are. So I, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep talking about it. Depending on what we do with Frank Clark, we can save some money there. And then um, apparently if Mahomes uh, does, a, a, I guess, takes a signing bonus or converts his money into a signing bonus or, or something, um, mm-hmm. then he can kind of transfer that money. It would free up about $21 million uh, this year, but it would also, for the next three years, the cap, it would be much more expensive compared to um, if you if were to do that this year. So we could, we could free up a lot of money, um, that's what it sounds like. Um, and then we've also, like what you guys said, uh, you talked about there were some of the explosive receivers. We're linked to two of them already, Juju being one of them, then Odell being the other one. So I mean, that's conversations we can have as the, uh, as the offseason continues, but those are two guys that we are linked to already. And even Brett Veach actually uh, mentioned Odell Beckham during his press conference, talking about how that how that addition really um, really helped them uh, help the Rams uh, when Robert Woods went down. So if he's talking about him in his uh, final presser for the year, then you know that obviously somebody on his mind. 